the show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Whether you're new to sales or a lifetime veteran, the Black Belt Sales Podcast will sharpen your sword and guide you to master the art of sales. And now, here's your host, the ninja himself, Gene Slade. Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, let's put let's bring Victor into the studio right now. All right. Um, if you guys don't know Victor, you're going to want to follow him on social. I'm sure that uh, he's, he'll have some other directions for you on how to contact him uh, soon. And we'll, we should have a website here to go ahead and get you some of the final tickets that are available for the Rocket event May 1st through the 3rd. And where is it at? It's in Dallas, Texas at Texas Live, right between the Cowboy Stadium and the Ranger Stadium. Probably one of the funnest parts of Dallas, so pretty excited, man. Jan- By the way, your, your theme song is pretty catchy, man. I was back here dancing behind by backstage, so that was good. Yeah, but you're a dancer, man. I've seen you at the events. You're always moving, so. Don't be a- giving away my secrets, bro. They got to pay me. <laughs> that shit. You know I mean? Go VIP, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Vic, it's been like only a couple of months since I've seen you. What has been happening since we left the last event? Which, by the way, guys, um, you know, I- I'm not somebody to talk anybody or their events up, but um, the social gatherings were really really cool but the food was fucking amazing so if you guys love a really nice meal you're gonna want to come out to the next event i'm sure that victor's got something cooked up for us don't tell him now but um what's been going on since the last event man what have you been doing what have you been up to yeah man i mean obviously you know the event was you know went off without went off great man without a hitch we had some you know great we had great times great speakers great people great party you know obviously the food uh, a million dollars worth of food is always it better turn out good so that was fun uh, but yeah, yeah we spent we spent a million dollars just on food and beverage last year we had open bars and all that exciting stuff and you know we got kind of the same thing planned this year so it's going to be exciting and we'll talk a little bit more about that but yeah since then man it's you know keep in mind like last year bro i i sold my business you know i grew that grew that business that was my baby i exited it and you know a lot of people don't talk about post-sale depression so i went through a lot of post-sale depression and even, come on now even leading up to the event like i didn't realize the the magnitude it was going to have on me right like i went from having hundreds of phone calls and texts a day to like nothing and then and then you got your employees are mad that you sold and then you got you yep. your, your friends a lot of your friends are your customers your family members and then you know and everybody's like well he's got money now and then it's it just it was a it was a weird experience um and so it took me took me a couple months to get over the depression, and you know I I didn't really leave my house much. I, I was doing work, but I was really kind of half-assing. And even leading up to the event last year, like it took me till like the last thirty days to really even start promoting it because I just I just wasn't feeling myself, man. And and since the event, I, I, that's what I've been kind of working on, trying to get trying to get past that, trying to figure out what's next for me, what's going to excite me, what you know, like I really found that I don't really like running home service businesses. I don't enjoy it. Um, it's not my it's not my thing that I want to do, and and I took a little bit of time and I, and even the coaching, the coaching's fun, but as you know, the coaching causes depression too, because you, sure. want, you want people to freaking, you want people to get it. You want them to fucking get it and crush it. And then it's like, dude, it's like, you have to keep repeating yourself and like, come on, bro, I'm giving you the fucking secret sauce. Like figure it out. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. you know, and so like, it was, it started getting hard for me to do training. Cause I'm like, dude, I'm like seeing the same people. I'm like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, let's get your shit together. So yeah, you know, I've been really trying to figure out like I have a particular set of skill sets, right? Like I'm a really good sales guy, I'm a really good sales trainer. I'm a business. I got run businesses. I can do all these different things, and I'm really good at marketing. I found marketing has been something I've been really good at as far as getting customers, getting attracting customers, attracting employees, building a personal brand. And I've been like trying to figure out what I'm going to do my use my skill set for. And uh, last year we launched a call center, me and my partner, and that call center grew like crazy. But I never really focused on it. Uh, but about, about around the same time, I said, I want to build this software out. And finally, a year later, here we are. The software launched last week. And I realized that I found out what the hell I'm, I want to do for the rest of my life. And uh, last week, was, it was fucking awesome. I mean, we, we, I, don't think, I think we put a clinic on how to, start, how to launch a software. I mean, we, had <laughs> a, 
We have over a hundred people signed up, paying you know, that are signed up for the software. Over ninety five percent sales rate on our demos because everybody's seeing it and they realize that they need it for their business. And and as right. you know, as a sales guy, right, a sell someone likes to sell things. When you can sell a product that's going to change a person's life, dude, you just fucking love it. And I just fell in love with it. And now we're building things around that. That I'm like, holy shit, I can fill this need, this need, this need with these businesses. And I truly think I'm going to put over a hundred million dollars into my company and in my into my uh, my clients' pockets this year. Probably more than that. I would bet you a quarter million dollars goes into my clients' pockets this year just from what we're building out. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm at now, man. I'm excited. We just got a new building. Uh, we got a, like a eight thousand square foot high rise building we're moving into, and we're excited. Where is that at? Uh, it's gonna be here in California, so not moving out of state. No, no but but where where in California? Uh, it's gonna be Irvine, so it's gonna be right next to the right next to John Wayne Airport. So I got people that can fly in for podcasts, stuff like that. Clients come in nice. to next to the airport, make it nice and easy for them. So uh, we we just want to we want to build something special. Uh, the other thing I realized is that. Uh, a lot of these sales guys in California don't got leads and they need a home. And so uh, we were talking about that off stage. We're going to be building out a rehash department where we're going to take, they said something like statistically national, like I think it's a national statistic, only 25% of leads sell and between all big companies, and small companies combined. So that's 75% of those deals never go closed. And I would yeah. say half of those never, ever get followed up with. So we're creating, I would agree with that. We're creating a whole follow-up process for not only for the service side. So if you got repair calls, we'll follow up on your repair calls. And when we follow up on the repair calls, we're going to try to sell the repairs. We're also going to try to get them to get estimates on replacement because your techs are bad communicators. And then I'm also going to be running behind every single estimate. So if you leave an estimate, my guys are going to try to sell it and we're going to close it over the phone. And like I said, I hired some of the best sales guys in the country to come do it. Sweet. So let's talk about the rocket event that's coming up March 1st through the 3rd. Um, kind of paint a picture for us, if you will of what we can expect when we buy a ticket and we book a room and we come out, and we show up on day one, what can we expect? So I would expect excitement. So Eugene, you've been doing this a long time, man. You've been in this industry a long time. I'm coming up on nine years next month since I got in the trades and I've been to a lot of trade shows. I've been to a lot of events and you know, a lot of times you go to these events and you really get either a raw, raw stuff or a sales pitch. Right. And, and that's kind of what you get. And, and sometimes you get some good stuff and sometimes you don't. And then, you know, some of these places, they got good food. Some of it sucks. Some of the after parties, you know, there's just a lot of mixture of things that happen. And I wanted to figure, figure out a way that, and, and keep in mind, I'm doing this event specifically the beginning of May for a reason. Normally I throw my events in the fall, but I found that I'm thinking like, okay, if I throw it in May, the number one time to make money and lose money is summertime. Because sure. if, if you don't have your process in place, you don't have things dialed in, you don't have the things that we're going to teach you at this event. You can lose a lot of money. You can lose millions of dollars by not having the right things in place. So I feel like I'm throwing this event. So when people come out there, I'm putting some of the best owners, operators, sales trainers, motivators in the entire country, including yourself, guys that are running $500 million businesses down to some guys that just started three years ago that have $25 million businesses are going to be on stage telling you what they're doing to win in today's market. So my goal was if I put it on a Thursday, Friday, when people, people got the weekend to travel back home, when they go back home Monday, they could implement it on Monday and they could dominate. And so that's what we're doing. We got, instead of putting a bunch of rah-rah people on stage and all the big, you know, the big head speaker guys, we're, we're putting owners and operators and sales trainers and, and actual salesmen that are doing it in today's market. They're going to share you the, tr the tricks of the trade that they're doing. And as you know, the, the economy shifted, things have shifted and some of these people aren't pivoting. And if you don't figure out how to pivot and go figure out what these guys did to pivot, to continue to win, then, then you're Then that's, that's going to make the difference. So if you come out, we're going to have, Great food as always. We're gonna have some great parties. Uh, Rilla's putting on an amazing after party. They got Rick Ross is gonna come perform uh, on after night one. So we got Rick Ross is gonna be there. I got some other stuff we haven't announced yet. We have some Cowboys players coming. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty badass, man. So let's just rewind the tape for just a second because you're talking about preparing people to go into the summertime. And, and man, Sometimes summers help and sometimes they don't help us, right? But what I have found is that there are a lot of contractors that put themselves in a position to go out of business in the summertime because we're trying to run two or three times as many calls as we should be. We don't know how to fucking say no. We burn our, our employees out. They don't feel like they're important to us. And then by the time the summer is over, we're like – we've got people that are ready to leave us. Can you, can you speak to that as a business owner who had an operation that was doing a healthy eight figure, you know, revenue? 
Yeah, I mean, when so when obviously when you're when you're looking at a, at a business, right? So a lot of times we we're so dependent on the summer, right? And if we don't if we don't dial it and do it right, we can really mess up. And one of the things I talked about, and, and keep in mind, this isn't 2020 anymore. It's not 2021. Leads aren't as easy to get as they were before. Leads are expensive they're, they're through the roof, right? We haven't had the weather we've had the last couple of years. It's been kind of off. And one of the things that I talked about a lot of my my clients, and I'm like, dude, some of you guys are too fat, right? And like, sometimes you have to cut some people to make it make it work. And and as we're working through it in summertime, like we ramp up sometimes. And if we don't have the if we don't have the summer that we're supposed to have, we could actually burn through capital, right? You have obviously your yep. over, your op your opex is too high over summer, and you don't hit the numbers you're supposed to have. Guess what? You have to bankroll your entire year through that summer. So if you don't do good in summer, then you got to make it through all through the next six months somehow without with that with that money. So if you don't dial in your process and dial in your, your percentage and making sure you're hitting the highest net possible and bringing in as much revenue and, and, and more and more importantly, profit, you're going to find yourself in a bad position because a lot of you guys are having already had a bad win, had a bad summer last year, had a bad winter. And now if we don't crush it this year, there's going to be doors closed. Yep. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing with the private equity or closing doors, yep. laying off people. And, and if you guys don't really pay attention to what's going on with the market, and I tell people there's one of my favorite books is called Who Moved My Cheese? Yeah. And if you guys have never re- read that book, you can tell them if you read that book, you'll know what's going on right now. The cheese is moving. And if you don't <laughs> hit it, there's going to be problems, right? True. True. And g- guys, if you if the summer comes for HVAC contractors and the phone does blow up, you know what I mean? And consider filtering your calls, consider saying no to some people, right? And and running the best calls. Remember, you've got two sets of customers. You got your external customers and then you got your internal customers. And your if you take care of your internal customers, your employees, they're going to take care of the rest, right? But if you neglect them, you're going to be screwed. All right. 100%. So 100%. Go ahead. So I think we left off at Rick Ross some some cool things happening. Tell people I, I know that I have a link that I could put in this video and everything, but just tell people easily, how can they actually get a ticket for the event? You go to callprofitrocket.com, go to the uh, drop down, click the Rocket X event, go on there, you can get tickets. I made the tickets specifically affordable. I understand what the economy, I understand what everybody's been going through. I made it affordable for a reason, right? Like a general admission is only four ninety five to get in, right? But keep in mind, if you're going to an event and if you're going there for a purpose, don't do the general admission because obviously the stuff on the stage is amazing. You're going to get great knowledge. But as you know, Gene, when you're rubbing shoulders with these people, you get to communicate and go hang out with these people at the after parties and and see what they're all about. That's where the, it's kind of where the magic happens at a lot of the events. And and that's, that's where the food happens, right? The foods and the drinks. And we just have a good time. And I think yeah. you know, if I'm going to spend the money, spend a little bit more money, come, come and uh, get the after party access and all that. And I see that in the comments, it says Houston, Texas. It's actually in Dallas, Texas. It's going to be in Dallas. It's going to be, like I said, right next to Ranger or the, the Cowboy Stadium, same parking lot as the stadium. Let them know that you heard it here on the Black Belt Sales Podcast, but don't wait, okay? If you wait, you're going to end up getting locked out of this event, and it's not one that you want to get locked out of. Um, I don't promote events. This is the only event that I have ever really promoted. So, And, yes, I will be there. Um, I'll be teaching some of our sales processes with IAQ, maybe even water treatment, but uh, we'll be there and together. The, the cool thing is, Gene, Gene's trying to get out. Gene, we plan on getting him on the main stage this year. So if you guys are you guys are coming out, you guys want to see Gene, you want to see me and Gene communicate. Like we have some really, we're gonna have some amazing sales. Like if you have a sales team, we're gonna have an amazing sales panel. We have an operations room. If you have, if you buy a ticket and you have a female in your organization that you really want to come and bring up, bring up. You get to actually bring a female in your organization for free. As long as you buy any ticket, we're having a E3 meetup with it, which is mm-hmm. Michelle, Michelle's event is going to be the first night. We have an E3 women's meetup. So any woman you want to bring in your organization, you buy a ticket, you get to bring the girl for free because we want to bring more women into the trades. We want to bring more women into these events. Every time I go to, to these events, I don't see any women. It's all dudes, right? And as if you guys don't know that women are the backbone of our lives and our businesses, you're, gonna, you're, you're, you're wrong. And don't leave your woman at home, man. Yeah, bring her, man. If you got your wife, you want to bring her, bring her involved. If you have a, if you have a spouse, they could come. They can come for free. We're gonna have a women's meetup. It's gonna be pretty badass. So, uh, if you guys are doing that, do that as well. But this is for everybody in your business: operations, managers, sales guys, anybody that you want to motivate and get excited. And we do have some group rates and stuff like that. If you guys are interested, you guys can you guys can DM me or reach out to me. We'll get some group rates for you guys. But you're not gonna want to miss this, man. And like I said, the, the events one thing, Gene. But let's. Let's talk about some of the stuff, man. Like, I, I want to talk about what's going on right now. I think a lot of people are struggling more than they want to talk about. 
And, you know, I'm getting message. I'm getting more messages than I've ever got of like, dude, what do I do? Right. Because the, the economy, the, the industry has shifted. If you guys don't, if you haven't felt the shift, you're, you're lying to yourself, but there is ways to overcome mm -hmm. it. Right. So Gene, you want to talk about some of the things you're seeing? I mean, obviously, you know, this, this is right now is where we're going to find out who the real communicators are, who the real sales guys are, because it was easy for a couple of years, dude. It ain't easy no more. Mm -hmm. And we got to talk about a little bit about that, Gene. Well, one of the things that I'm hearing out there, Vic, is from a marketing perspective, I'm hearing a lot of clients saying that lead flows are down. I'm even hearing it from marketing companies that lead flows are down 40 to 50%. I'm also hearing and seeing that a lot of the private equities that have been purchasing up companies, you know, this is cyclical, guys. This happens every 10, 15, 20 years that big capital companies come in and buy stuff up and then they the cut they had the head out they they decapitate middle management and upper management and the company loses its morale now this doesn't happen every time there's some good pe's out there right but what i what i've seen is that they're starting to struggle they're dumping additional capital and money because they've got war chests into marketing and i think that a lot of that is going towards those pe companies a lot of the leads are being dragged that direction you, you're involved with some of these people. What are you seeing? You know, I'm seeing a lot of struggle, man. So, you know, and I'm, I'm from my from my old business to all of them. Like in California, it's been pretty brutal. The bigger the company, the harder they're falling right now. Uh, so you got to remember how private equity works. They, you know, they buy the asset and then they play hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot yep. potato. And they played hot potato for, you know, five years, a five-year run of hot potato. And just like in the early in the 90s, someone got left with that hot potato and now they're stuck holding the bag and they can't flip it, right? So the money's made when they resell it to somebody else. Yep. If nobody else wants to buy it, you're stuck holding mm -hmm. it, you gotta operate it. And now you're trying to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze every fucking penny out of it. And I and I said, I said this analogy the other day. I was like, I was like, that they these private equity groups would literally eat a baby for one percent one percent <laughs> profit, okay? They would fucking eat their fucking firstborn. Okay. That's these are the kind of people you're dealing with. And and when you're dealing with these kind of people, like they they don't give a fuck. Like you're just a number. And it says, hey, sometimes they might say, Hey, shut the fucking doors, let's cut the loss. And that's what's yep. I'm trying to see now. There's a couple of companies I saw in Utah that were ten million dollar businesses, shut the fucking doors. They just want to write it off, get it off the books. That was hurting their bottom line, right? Yep. So all they care about is their bottom line, the net, the EBITDA, EBITDA, EBITDA. Well, if a company's hurting their EBITDA, you fucking cut the shut the doors. They can't hurt my EBITDA anymore. There are going to be a lot of contractors that, if they've played their money right, are going to be able to buy back their companies for dimes, if not pennies, on the dollar. You know, I joked about it the other day. I was like, it's like uh, bar, the Barstool Sports, right? You know, when he bought his, he bought Barstool Sports back for one dollar. Uh, there's going to be some of those. There's going to be some of those deals. And and keep in mind, like. Maybe you don't want to go run these home services. Like a lot of these guys made enough money. They're like, dude, like, why would I want to go work on a you know lower margin business? And it's 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 a, as you guys know, man. These these businesses are a grind. I'm partnered in like 14 of these 14 14 AC companies or something like that. And every one of them, like, dude, it's a grind every day. These yeah. are most, it's the most relentless job you're gonna have. And the reason why people cash out is because it is tiring. It beats you up. And maybe that's where a lot of times like some of these private equity groups are like the owner won't even buy it back because they're like, dude, I don't want to do yeah. that anymore. I paid you. You got me paid my money. Yeah. And I don't want to have to fix it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like but, you, know, I, you couldn't pay me to take mine back. I mean, I, I would not want to. <laughs> I, like, like if they came to me tomorrow and say, Hey, you can have it back. I'm like, yeah, you can pay me some money. I'll take it back. I'll think about it. Not me either, man. I, I don't ever want to be this the main operator of an air conditioning company. I'll, I'll take equity positions, but I, I, I'll never do that again. And people try to convince me all the time, my wife included, right? But I'm like, no, not doing it anymore. Well, and even like the equity position, man, like some of these businesses, you know, I went in, we went in and I'll try to help a business. And it's like, dude, like you can't help everybody. Some of these businesses, right. some of these owners, no matter what you do, if I came in and gave you cash, you'd burn through it. You wouldn't do yeah. anything with it. And it's like, you know, a lot of guys are like, you want to partner with me? I'm like, no, like you have to understand we only have so much time in a day, right? That's right. And I believe that I, I don't want to do any deal unless I'm going to make a minimum five to $10 million. If I'm not making five to $10 million, I'm not going to waste my time. If the market, if you're not in the right market, you should move. If you're in a tiny town, it's never going to be worth much. Move somewhere else where you can grow a business. It's going to be worth something. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's been crazy. And I, I think a lot of people that I talked about partnering with over the last couple of years are now like fucking banging on my door. Help me, help me. And I'm like, dude, I can't help you now. You waited too long. Yeah, no, I get it. And you know, and guys, as we get older, 
things, different things become more important to us. You know, I'm way more selfish with my time than Victor is, right? I mean, you see him out doing all the different things that he's doing. He, I've got a few years on him, right? So um, don't take time for granted because there's nothing to say that Vic or myself are going to be around next year doing this or, or five or 10 years. Things happen, different things happen in people's lives. So take advantage of the opportunity while you've got it to come see both him and I in Dallas in May. All right. And if Just you go, guys, to, go, go sorry, ahead, man. Sorry about that. No, go ahead. Gene, uh, Gene, Gene, when Gene's giving you a promo, you take that shit. But uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll finish it off. They call profitrocket.com. You got right. to go check it out. And also, you know, if you guys don't have calls on your board, I can get calls on your board. You know, we just launched our software last week. I had a guy go live yesterday. We put 46 calls on his board since Monday. You know, $79 chain up to put 46 of them on his board. So we do have that ability to help you with that. And the cool thing is if you come from Gene, uh, I'll make sure you guys get taken care of. We save some money for you guys. So if you guys reach out, if you guys go to rp1.ai or www.rp1.ai and you submit a demo, you let me know you came from Gene. I'll make sure to get you guys taken care of uh, on that end as well. But, you know, that's, I think that's the biggest thing I talk to you right now. Like marketing companies can't lead, get leads. Nobody's able to get leads. We're able to fill your board, keep you guys moving. And the main thing is making sure you guys are trained, right? So I'm not really doing much training anymore. So if you guys haven't got your guys trained, you haven't got them on their word tracks, you haven't got them up to, up to speed on how to overcome objections, and you haven't gone to Gene's training, you guys got to hurry up and get there. Yeah, Gene, like I said, I, everybody I talked to, I mean, I've had a couple of guys that were just out here recently, and they're just like, man, they got nothing but great things to say about what you're working on. Well, you know, we're all different, um, but I feel like for what I do, there's nobody that's going to be better than me. Um, and so thank you for that, Vic. Next Mansion event's coming up the 20th through the 24th of March. It's in Orlando. We've got, I think, a dozen seats left to that event. So if you're interested in that, just put Mansion down in the comments or um, we'll throw my cell number up at the end of the video and maybe we'll throw a promo video up for that before we leave. Uh, but this is about promoting um, the Profit Rocket event. Oh, and also, I know that Vic's making you know your your guys' boards full. If you guys need any help with answering those telephone calls, Lead Ninja AI is at your service now, answering telephone calls twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, better than your CSRs can yeah, do it right now. It's bad. If you guys haven't checked out the AI stuff that Gene's working on, it's freaking badass. And you know, he sends me recordings. <sighs> I remember the first recordings he sent me. I'm like, they sounded good, and now it's like. Now it's like, dude, I'm like, I don't even know. I don't even think we need humans anymore. <laughs> like, shit, it's getting pretty wild, man. I think uh, I think just the just, you're just at the tip of the iceberg, dude. And especially heading into the busy season, if you're answering your own phones or if you're not like you don't have you don't have the time to train your staff and you're not using what Gene's got. It's crazy. I mean, hey, you guys have to embrace AI. I think that's one of the big things we're talking about at Profit Rocket is is how we can integrate AI in all these different facets, because, you know, AI is not here. AI is here and it's not going anywhere. The, it's the people that are going to be the early adopters. They're going to take. They're going to take the money, right? And everybody else is going to be over here playing small ball when you can play big ball with the, with this stuff. I think what you got going on, Gene, is pretty badass. And, and obviously, we've had multiple conversations. I think it's about ready to get implemented in some of my locations too. So, I'm going to have it start calling you until you decide to do that. You just have the AI call me until I tell exactly. You. What if the AI, dude, if the AI sells me, I'll be pissed. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I <laughs> no, Gina, you won't. I call Gene. I'm like, your sales chick is really good. He's like, what sales chick? I mean, he's like, oh, the AI. I'm like, son of a bitch. No, you'll be you'll be thinking of 17 different ways to use it because you don't sleep. You're a vampire. They said so. I read it on the internet. They can't put it on the internet if it's not true. <laughs> that's so, true. No, I mean, that, I mean, that's but that's the key, man. Like, you know, you're like me, man. We're always, I'm always looking at ways to help people. Like, and if it's not, a, if it's a product that's going to help benefit them, I can push it. And I feel like you're the same way. Like I can't put my name behind something I don't believe in. Like I've, I've had, I've had a business, I had an entire business that I gave away to my partner because I didn't believe in what he was doing, and we were doing millions of dollars. But like that's just how I operate. And like I see what you're working on, and you've been, you've been working your ass off. And people don't realize like they're like, oh, AI is easy. Anybody, no, it's you. Have, if you don't train it right, right, the AI is only as good as the information you put in. Yeah. And if you have the right information, if you could have Gene selling for you or Gene answering your phone calls or or even like me selling. Like, Dude, you got to you got to run with that. That's crazy. Yeah, if you're not doing it, your comp your competitions will start doing it, and I don't even want to I don't even want to think about what that's going to be like for you. So, hey, listen, man, um, I appreciate you coming on. Um, I'm going to shoot that video for you like you requested, 
And um, I will see you on probably, what is it, the, the 31st of April or so. I'll fly in maybe a day earlier or so. Yeah, and, dude, um, it's going to be badass, man. I'm excited to have you back out. Thanks again for coming out last year. Um, you know, obviously, the, the big thing with my events is I want to make them inclusive, man. I don't, I don't try to shut people out. I, want, I think that you know, anytime we can get people together, they can learn from some of the best in the industry. It, that's what it's all about. Like it's, I, I think that's what separates my events from the other ones is like, I want to bring everybody as much knowledge and, and, and people as possible. I mean, I got guys in, in the roofing space. I got guys from door to door sales. They're going to teach you door to door sales. I got, we got Gene, we got some AI stuff. We got operations, leadership, women's event. We got, you know, best operators. We got Tommy Mello, Lance, like it's freaking nuts, man. If you like go through the lineup and everything we got going on, it's going to be amazing. So if you guys want to come out, you know, we would love to have you just go to callprofitrocket.com. Go to you hit the hit the drop down, click on Rocket X event, get signed up today. We have about 200 tickets left ish. So once they're gone, they're gone. It's gonna be an amazing event. The cool thing is, Gene, this is the least stress I've ever been at been about an event. The first year I lost 400, the second year 800, last year a million. This year we're gonna <laughs> this year we are we get we had some, you know, the sponsors are all involved. The sponsors want to come in this year. They've come in, in a big way. Like I, I sold out the sponsorship spots really fast. So like that's been a blessing. So usually it's an uphill battle. So yeah, cool. Hey, ba hey, bathrooms and kitchens. Yes, yeah, so if you do anything where you work inside of someone's home, you need to be at this event. Period. So we have guys that are doing pest control, garage doors, uh, roofing, siding, uh, HVAC, electrical, plumbing. There's general contractors. There's going to be something to learn from because the, there's the secret is I think Gene, like a lot of these other industries are realizing that HVAC has been so much more sophisticated on the home service side for so long. Ain't it something? That the people that take the HVAC brain and they put it into that into whatever trade they're in, oh. magically their their numbers go like this, right? And I think that's it's, it's that's what happened with Tommy Mello. That's how he became the number one garage door company in the country. He involved he just did the HVAC model. There's pest control guys doing the HVAC model. There's there's electricians. All these things that are doing the HVAC model. Yep. They're blowing up. So yes, if you're in a different trade, gutters. I don't care if you're what you're selling. If you come out there, you're going to learn. You're going to grow. And we're going to make sure you get your money's worth at this event. Like everybody that ever comes, are like, dude, this is amazing. So thanks again. We, Gina. I'm so we have added the pest control. We've added the garage doors. We, we've been adding trade after trade and all of the principles are the same. So Victor is right. Listen, you can't afford not to. I mean, it, even if it costs you 10 grand to get from here to there and back, I mean, what would you actually have to do additional in revenue in order to make that happen? Maybe one job a month. If you can't do that, then maybe you retarded. I don't know. <laughs> Vic, I'll see you later. We're gonna roll a we're gonna roll a promo video for the mansion event coming up, and then we'll see you all in Dallas March first through the third at the Rocket event. See you, Vic. Cool. Later, bro. I'm Jonah Gorlitz. I'm from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. I've been doing HVAC for about one and a half, two years now, and I'm I work for Instant Air out of Shepherdsville, Kentucky. Hi, I'm Kim K. I work with Leaves Nearby, and I have been working with Leaves Nearby for over eight years, and we work with HVAC, electrical, and plumbing contractors. So my name is Chris Laurentino from Comfort Specialist. We're out of Morris County, New Jersey. And I've been in the industry about 17 years now. mastermind because um, it's not just a sales force actually it's not really a sales force at all so, so the reason that I joined the mastermind is I've seen some people's results online that this is different from other events I've been to I've been to various contest events for quite a few years now it's really taught me how to understand and communicate to the customer well it's actually my second uh, mansion trip from the community of how well some people have done and I really wanted to be a part of that and this one is
the best space. It's the most glamorous space. And it's basically one training that builds upon each other. Share in that success. And I felt that the best way to achieve that was to actually get here and, and get involved in the training. And frankly, in, in my mind, there's no better way to train than, than in person. Since I've been in the class since December, my income has improved, my revenue for the company has improved, my customer relations have improved, and my call volume has decreased while the profits and everything else has increased. Being here is a unique experience that you can't replicate in just a Zoom class. There's so much more that you get out of this. And the other events I've met here, it's a lot of information on a lot of topics where this is very concentrated. I feel like it allows you to have more focus. Hey guys, if you want to get more information at that event, about that event in March, March 20th through the 24th, it's a Wednesday through a Sunday. You'll check in Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the mansion and you'll be staying with us. We'll be doing training during the days and having some fun, sharing some uh, meals and breaking some bread together, hanging around the fire pit or the, the lazy river or just outside chilling and you know, the patio and some people are up even in the game room shooting hoops or uh, playing pool, foosball. There's all kinds of stuff to do there. Cool, cool Star Wars room for any of you guys that like Star Wars. But bottom line is if you want information on that, just go ahead and text me. The telephone number to text me is 239-848-6533. For those of you that are listening and you can't see it uh, on the screen, it's 239 239- Eight four eight six five three three, and if you're listening to us on Apple or Spotify or any of the other just audio promote uh, platforms, will you please just head over and give us a five star review if you feel like we're delivering information that's valuable to you? We do appreciate you joining us. Until next time, ninjas, go out there and slay some dragons. See you next time. Bye.